What's up, guys? In today's video, we got a Toyota. Hey, this is a 4Runner 2004. Uh, doesn't matter what year you have. We're going to do a zero point uh, calibration here. First of all, make sure your car truck is in a plain level surface. The steering is nice and st straight. The wheels are straight. We hooked up the scan tool. So this is a Toyota 4Runner uh, 4.0 2004. So we're going to click on that. So we gotta go through a series of couple of settings. So pretty much, we're getting all the lights here and uh, ABS traction, all that. And uh, if you reset the light and you put the truck to reverse or forward, as soon as you move the truck, all the lights come back on. So first of all, make sure you have no faults. If there's any faults, like any sensors, take care of that. So we're gonna go into wheel alignment. That's this right here in the scan tool. I'm using uh, Solo's Edge Snap-on. So we're gonna go into alignments. We're gonna click yes. Uh, test mode. And uh, it's gonna give us all uh, uh, how to do this, okay? We're gonna, it says this function is used to perform zero point calibration of the yaw rate and acceleration sensor. So we're gonna press continue. Uh, disconnect the battery if necessary before performing, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, please, Exit the test, uh, reset the memory if required. We already done that. I had a code for something. We replace that. So we're going to press continue. Ensure that the parking brake is released. Okay, the parking brake is released. And test will not, or the test will not work. Turn the ignition key off. Wait for at least 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, turn the ignition uh, key on and uh, ready light off. Engine, uh, engine slash ready light off. Ensure the engine is stopped. Ignition keys on. Okay. So what we're gonna do is gonna turn the key off. That's what it's asking us to do. Wait for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna put the key on. We're gonna press continue, and uh, it will tell you to make sure everything is straight, like I told you. Press continue. Okay, it's gonna take about one minute and 58 seconds to do the calibration, and you're gonna see all these lights start to flicker there. That's how they're supposed to be. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna actually go through this test. It's uh, one minute and uh, 45 seconds for this test to progress. So these lights will be flashing while this is doing that. So let's just wait for the time frame to uh, deplete here. And then after that, it will give us some more uh, uh, settings there. And that should do the calibration on this zero point sensor here. The phone's always going to ring when I'm recording. So we're going to ignore that call right now. Because right now, this is more important to us. We'll get back to the phone call. Anyways, one minute and 16 seconds. And uh, going. Okay, one minute and eight seconds. So let's just go through this together and wait for the time frame to deplete. And while we're doing this, this is the lights are gonna just keep flashing like that. That's normal. Okay. My door is open. It's fine to keep the door open. Long as I don't sit in it. You can't sit in it, you can't move the vehicle around at this point. No touching anything pretty much. This is like the longest uh two minutes of my life here. And I gotta sneeze. Oh, God. 30 seconds. And the lights are just flickering there. So I did do a video on this, how to do it manually. You have to jump a couple of wires on there within a certain time frame. And uh, that's all the scan tool does for you internally. And uh, so nine seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, Let's see what kind of instructions they give us next. So the lights are still flashing. If the ABS lamp did not blink fast, please exit, turn ignition off, and try again. Okay, so it did do that. So we're done here. We're going to press continue. And exit the text mode. Test mode. We're going to exit here. So we're done pretty much here. And all the lights have stopped. We're gonna turn this off and we're gonna start the truck off. So all the lights should be off 
And that's it. That's how you're going to do a zero point calibration on this truck.